Well, hello, hello there. Welcome back to the Coliseum of Spectacle und Delight. Today's contender. You know, I've been wanting to revisit the cycling archetype, and I saw a list pop up on Arena Deck List that just made me go, hmm. I had to tinker with it a little bit, but can you blame me? It looks so much fun. So you know what? I went ahead and uh, eh, eh, made some tweaks. Let's go over it. So standard cycling. You expect what you expect. Flourishing Flocks, Strand Stinger, uh, Zenith Flare. Boon of the Wishgiver. Outside of that, we get Sensor. We get Sweltering Suns, of course. This is definitely a good, uh, I was thinking best of one, but it's a great, I just think it's, uh, any, any deck with a three mana sweeper, you either have Anger of the Gods or Sweltering Suns. They both have their advantages. Anger of the Gods is definitely miles better against either Raksak or, uh, you know, is it, uh, Phoenix? But, outside of that, it, this never gets stuck in your hand, because, well, you can just cycle it away. Kind of plays the theme of the game, but that's just personal bias. I also don't have Anger of the Gods, as, we've, as anyone who's watched my videos knows. Eventually, I'll commit. I haven't yet, so I love Sweltering Suns. Like I said, worst case scenario, it sends away. Now, here is one that's made its way into standard cycling, too, that I'm so happy is in this list, Improbable Alliance. When you draw your second card each turn, you get a 1-1 one, one blue fairy creature token with flying. Simple enough. We also have a pair of Lightning Helix, not only to stem off early aggro, but really it's kind of here for narset because narset kind of owns our deck got a way to take it out so we have threats that grow we have threats that ping and we have threats that spread other than that we have cyclers we have our zenith flare for our finisher of course and then alone hero of dominaria there were two in the original list uh, i just trimmed it to one to make space for sweltering suns still very good and then a pair of Boon of the Wish Giver because it either draws mana, or <laughs> it either draws mana, it either draws a card, or late in the game it draws many cards. You never know when you need it. So that's about it for the main deck. Uh, another thing to note, we actually have 28 lands because we are running a straight up full set of each cycling land. You don't see any triumphs here. We are here to cycle. So we should theoretically be able to make our land drops every turn. Let's hop over to the sideboard. This is where I did a lot of tinkering. All right, so... We got a Grab Trigger's Cage for the Phoenix matchup, and unfortunately it doesn't work for Indomitable Creativity, so we'll have to keep that in mind when we're playing, but it does work against Mizzix Mastery. Oh wait, no it doesn't, that's right, dang it, scratch that, it doesn't work against Mizzix Mastery or Indomitable Creativity, something to consider. Hmm. We got a pair, we got Fries for, since you know, the aforementioned Jeskai matchups, there's a ton of viable targets out there for this card. Uh, for my Counterspell Suite, I got one Veto and two Dispute. I felt like the veto was necessary. I kind of wanted more, but the mana cost could be a little prohibitive, so I wanted to dispute more since dispute's still very, very good. The reason I went with veto over a third dispute is I just keep thinking about the indomitable creativity stuff, but we'll see. We'll see. Now, <laughs> for our aggro matchup, I'm rocking Iron Craig Pyromancer. The original list had Reptilian Reflection, which is still good, but the, obviously it didn't have it for the aggro match. But in the three drop sideboard slot i'm trying i'm gonna try the pyromancer i'd like it in aggro matchups alongside solar blaze as the removal now i'm assuming because this is from the original list i was going to do wrath of god but then i thought this is probably in there because red and white easier to come by than double white so we're gonna stick with solar blaze but it works all the better for iron Craig pyromancer which is another reason i want to do it it's going to deal damage equal to its power to 0-4, Shazam! So, we'll see how these work out. They may go back to being Reptilian Reflections, but I can't resist playing Iron Creek Pyromancer. After mention Total Blaze, and then a trio of Shark Typhoon. Now, the idea being, we go up against Jeskai. Game 1 goes however Game 1 goes, but they know what we're up to. So, Game 2, we take out Zenith Flare, Sweltering Suns, uh, I believe Lightning Helix, and maybe some other stuff depending on the build we'll, we'll, we'll run into that when we run into that but we bring in shark typhoons we can bring in pyromancers we can bring in all of our counter spells removal and we just play the aggro game could go either way could go either way we'll wait and see i like the idea of having the alternative to scooping to rest in peace plan on the ready so that's why we got the man plan there so you know what i think that is enough babbling for now let's go ahead and get to those games all right, well, always a great way to start the day. Mm, sure. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey, I guess it'd be Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Mikey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Mikey. This could be a little awkward. Never mind. 
What do we think is more important here? Holding up sensor? Yeah. Because there's a good chance we'll try to... Oh. Okay. We'll see. I can always cycle these end of turn, and then we'll go from there. We'll see what he's got. It's... Oh, it's goblins. Got it. Boop. All right, now we got to be aggressive, be eat aggressive. And so we shall, so... Uh, okay, I might need the double red more than the double blue. Keep it going. Mm -hmm. I don't think that matters at this point. Okay. Get him. Pow. This so next turn, we can play the Inspiring Vantage tapped. Play the Improbable Alliance cycle. 4-4 four, four is going to be pretty good. Maybe. I don't know. Goblins can just kill you out of nowhere, so we got to be quick here. I'm going to play the Improbable Alliance because it blocks. No! Because it blocks, uh... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, still think the plan's still the same. I might leave a damage on the... Yep. I did. Left a damage on the board, which kind of sucks, but at the same time... What are you gonna do, right? There, I guess there's no reason for me to have not done that. Sweltering Suns. Could be good. Let's see how opponent go. One, two, three, four, five... He can actually cast the Muxus. Because when you announce it, if he has the next land... Let's see, so he'd be at 10. This would hit for 5. Okay. Okay, yeah, so... Well, no, I couldn't. I don't think I could kill him. I'm just debating if I if missing out on that damage was worth it. I'm not sure why I did. I had a train of thought there, and it... Ooh, Cranko. Uh, this is getting interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it makes a bunch of tokens. They all still die, so... Uh, bye-bye. Get him! Poof! Yeah, so in this matchup, I'll probably take out the sensors. One, two, three, four. What do you got for four mana that you didn't have last turn for four mana? Wily Goblin! That's okay. This is the end player will finish things off. I say hesitantly. Maybe not. One, two, three. He's still got four mana, which is pretty good. What can he cast for four mana? We're very fortunate that our opponent had an extremely slow start. Matron. Sure. What are you going to Matron for? Big boy? Just give me that big boy. There he is. Eh, not gonna beat around the bush here. Boop. Okay, so the one missed damage did not end up mattering, but it very well could have. So let's see here. Alright, Graph Digger's Cage, Solar Blaze. I like the Pyromancer. Might I don't know. The Pyromancer might be hit or miss. Now what don't I like here? I don't like the Hero of Dominaria. I don't like the sensor. I don't like the sensor. Oh, that's right. I didn't have more helixes on my sideboard, did I? Originally, I did. I must have forgotten about that. <sighs> Maybe I don't need the Pyromancer because it's more of a swarm strategy. I don't know. Pyromancer's really good at blocking everything, but the problem is I have to take out... If I play this, if I slam this turn three... Yeah, we have to figure out what we're taking out here. I don't really. Oh, I hate the idea of taking out cyclers, but I don't want to take out zenith flares. We're bringing in non cyclers for more cyclers. Maybe the pyromancer is too much. Maybe I should leave it out. Otherwise, we're going after psych. We're going after sensors, and we're probably going after. Right, Boone. Honestly. We want the cast outs just in case they cycle all the same, so oof. Just running low on cyclers at that point. Take up six cyclers. Alright, let's just see. If this doesn't work, we'll revert in game three. I'm not optimistic about it working, because goblins will just run us over. I'm debating I wonder what they brought in. Uh sure. I can dig it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I 
I wonder if it was better to take out the Stinger. And if he attacks me with that Skirk Prospector, I will 100% chain, uh, trade. Excuse me. There's the Wily. Do it. Oh, pfft. Snap trade. You kidding me? That thing's your engine, brother. One, two, three, four, five if he plays. Okay, so we can't do it yet. So we will wait a turn and get a threat down. One, two, three, four, five. He can only make five now if that next card is a... I was going to say Phyrexian Tower, but... There's the Chief. Do it. I will 100% trade. Nope. Okay, so now we got the... Yeah, so let's go. Graph Digger's Cage. We are going to play the Forgotten Tape Tapped and pass the turn. No attacks here. Just going to hold up Solar Blaze. Snoop. Okay. Let's see who's coming in. I will 100% block. Oh, Cranko. Well, then. That's going to be a beating. Bring it. Ow, 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 ow. So we're going to be down to nine after this? For the moment. Ooh, that's a Zenith Flare. I think I might just cycle this flourishing fox, but we'll see. That's the thing about goblins. Uh... Nah, we'll, we'll cast it. It's a little weak. Now I wish I hadn't taken out the hero of Dominario. Because now they could just be like, Rawr! It's a big boy. He can't do anything, but he's still there. That is not what I needed to see. Uh, yeah, we'll pass. Okay. Yeah, I got nothing. Oop. Did I say I got nothing? I meant... Oops! Oh, you should have sacked it for mana. Gain that life, baby. Alright, I guess I'll play the other Graph Digger's Cage and pass. This is where we are. We got Team Zenith Flare, but we don't have any cyclers. Yeah, you can't cast it, so. I'm gonna run out of ways to kill my opponent. Eh, that's fine. Again, sack it for mana. Sack itself for mana. That works. Cool. We'll take it. Cyclers, baby. <clears throat> holding it. Man, we'll pass. Actually, I should have cycled that and just dealt him three since we know he's not doing anything. Sure. Which was silly. If he plays the Prospector, I'll probably, yeah. In that case, I will. I'm glad I didn't. So I can blow up his board again. Even though it's not that threatening of a board, so maybe not. Granted... I want to cycle this. I can shoot the prospector. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. No. Give me. Let's kill the prospector. And I'm actually just going to hold the stinger. We're not an immediate threat just yet. <laughs> Fair enough. If he attacks, we block. Could be a long road ahead. Yeah, I can't cycle during my own turn. Okay. Okay. I was gonna cycle it, but you know what? Now I'm happy I didn't. Stop taking all my red mana. Boop. I start killing stuff here. And again, we're just going to wait. Goblin Chieftain, you say. Okay. That works. That plays. Yeah, I wouldn't attack with him. <sighs> That's an easy block. That's an easy block. Sure. 
boop, boop, ow. So he's at 16, I'm at five, my turn. Not gonna say no to that. And we pass. Not feeling too bad here. Sure. I'm just gonna pass here. Nothing else is gonna come of this turn. Yeah, you can if you want to. I wouldn't. <laughs> just cycle little by little. Boo! Boo! Hasta la vista, baby. Boom! All right, let's stop right now. 100% win rate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that must just be my lucky day. Uh, sure, this seems reasonable. Hmm, it's gonna be kind of awkward though, but that'll yeah, be fine. So I have to play this on red, so I can't sensor. I can cycle sensor. Yeah, that'd be fine. Oh, I meant uh, I. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, right on time. Ah, uh, he's got a mountain. Let's play the stinger. We got to play this clue step, which is kind of annoying. We can cycle the fox though, which is nice. Faithless looting. Oh boy, I hope this isn't uh, anything scary. Yeah, probably gonna have to go with the discard the fox plan. We don't have time to build them up. Oh no, it is something scary. Oh, we'll get to see how we do against actual tier decks. Oh, I said goblins is a tier deck. I don't know why I said that. Oh no, he's dead. Shocking. Yep. Awkward. Did he discard any actual phoenix? Nope. Discarded a crackler. Mm hmm. Tree down. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Okay. For a split second there, I thought, wait, why'd he do that? But, uh, he needed the blue banner. That's good. He means he won't be getting anything free. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, do we want to. I think we just played this bad boy on white. Well, let's just cast this. And let's do this now. Make sure we get that token. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get rid of. I mean, I ain't going to complain. <laughs> okay, then. Sure. Okay. Start with the Hollow Fountain, Spy Buff now. We got stuff to cycle. Sure, this seems reasonable. Oh no. Okay. Sweltering Suns, this is your matchup. Yeah, same thing. Alright. I wonder what this is going to end up being. Ow. Okay. Get the stinger out there. It's holding up priority for something. Uh oh. Oh, it was a clue. Oh my god. I've been playing I've been playing too much like treasure based. Oh no. That's okay. Alright. Seems reasonable. Oh uh, well, I guess we will just go ahead and yeah, play that and uh let's just pass. Oh, for a split second, I was like, what happened? Oh, right. Our kind of Amiria says that. Okay. Ow. Redane. That's a B. Something we can't handle, though, but man. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Actually, no, we shouldn't do that because we have stuff to do first. So, what do we need? We need white mana. What do we want to cycle here? 
Oh, of course, I was thinking of playing the Inspiring Vantage tapped. So that I could Sweltering Suns. Okay. Let's get in there. See if he just wants to block. It's a trap! It's free damage. Okay, now I got the Hero of Dominaria up, or we just continue playing the cycling game. Oh boy. Uh, let's make sure we don't play the wrong land. Not so fast. Draven Inspector. Nice. Danto Vanguard. Oh boy. That's going to be annoying. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, Mr. Hero of Dominaria, you. Oh, you and I. Okay. So we get to cycle for free, so I might as well. Okay, we gotta get to eight. Really? Really? It's ironic. We get to untap two. Yeah, so we'll go. Yeah, improbable alliance. I'll play the Hollowed Mountain tapped. I'm just debating if I want to have the Zenith Flare up or not, but I don't think I do. Okay. All right. Well, Teferi, you did your job. Hmm. Okay. Got it. He did. Jeez, holy cow, what do I do about Team Vanguard? Ah, okay, so I had it. That's okay, though. That's annoying. Let's play the advantage. Let's pass. There's no reason to do anything else just yet. I don't know, miss an improbable alliance trigger. Okay, well here comes a Ketra. Which is definitely going to be a beating. But then again, I could just kill him, so we'll see. All depends on what he does here. Okay. Cycle is cast out. So I'm gonna take him three, six, seven. Ooh, that is tempting. That is so tempting. Was there any reason not to just go block? Flare, then flare again. Got it. Could have hit him for eight. Hey, you wouldn't have done it. You remember Zenith Flare? Yeah, Ketra's definitely not gonna find, uh... Ketra's definitely not gonna, like, or work well with, um... Solar Flare. Hmm. Solar Blaze! Solar Flare! Solar Flare! Alright, uh, let's go with the Iron Creek Pyromancers. I don't hate the Shark Typhoons. What do we get rid of? We get the Hero Dominaria. Oof, this is where things get tough. Six more cards to take out. I don't want to take out the Zenith Flares. I don't want to take out the Sweltering Suns. I don't want to take out anything. I guess I could take out Sensor. Two more cards. I like Helix. I guess it's Boon. I guess we're doing this plan again. I still don't know how much I like it, but... <laughs> So many good cards I want to bring in. I want to play. All right, so this matchup's going to all be about... Well, it doesn't matter. It's interesting. He calls himself Rogue Shadow Mage. Um, 
this is awkward. All right, we'll try it. The Raven Inspector. God, that card's good. Yeah, it's fine. Oh boy, well that is awkward. Yeah, that's very awkward. So now we don't even have the ability to, uh, well, okay, never mind. All right. Well, let's hope he doesn't have Skyclave Apparition, or else we are in trouble. Danto Vanguard, that works too. We're gonna have to be cycling like a fiend. We gotta find white mana, like, quick. Ow, ow. That is not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Let's cycle one of these and see what it finds us. Now oh, we at least have a chump blocker. There we go. Okay. Let's go with the stinger. Now we at least have a chump blocker for whatever's biggest, and we can trade with the aspirant with the stinger. Let's see if he puts it on himself. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't attack, but does it anyways. Pow, pow. Nice. Nice. Alright. We'll find lands and stuff. Ooh. So we can save something. But that's only one thing. Probably, you know, he pays for life, he saves these two, it's not worth it at this point. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and... Gotta find... Well, okay, so if I Sweltering Suns, my guy dies, he saves the Vanguard with four life and the Luminarch Aspirant, and suddenly we're taking eight next turn? We can't have that. Yeah, so let's go ahead and cycle a cast out. Yeah. Ping him. Make a dude. Hope we draw a land if we don't. Alright, that's good. We got two other cyclers, so I think... We're just gonna wait. Ugh, we gotta find... Having only one white is definitely bottlenecking us. I should have led on cycling me. Here we go. Sure. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and cycle. Forgotten cave. We'll find land eventually. Flourishing fox. It's highly possible I should have held the fox, but no, that's right, we didn't draw until after we found our white mana. There's more white. Okay. Uh, one here, obviously, and... We could double block an inspector, but now nah, that's not going to work. We'll just take our four. Sure. Slowly build up our army. Down to nine, but we got weapons in the wings. Oh boy, another vanguard. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that really makes me want to. Oh, not enough white mana for everything. So we could Helix, well, whatever Helix the Savior protects, which is fine. I think I have to play this Secluded Step tapped. So I think I need to cycle the Sweltering Suns, get the token, play the Secluded Step tapped, and then just hope that's good enough. Let's see what we draw. Yeah. Let's do it. Yep. Uh, there yeah, no one attacks. Alright, so let's see what we got. Yep. Makes it look so easy. Okay, okay. So we're taking four here. That's the easy part. So this hits for five. I'm about to go to... Ooh, that's not good. But we will have double helix up, which is nice. Thinking about it here. 
Because I could block with a stinger, hit him for four. Alright, we'll just go with that for now. Now, you know what? I think I like this because we're not going to be cycling next turn, so let's do it like that. Nice. Let's it go. I like it. Ooh, that's a beating. Now we can't do anything. Um, so we could play the fox, cycle the cast out. We can't zenith flare our opponent's face. Um, play the fox, cycle the cast out. Hope we hit a land. And then we're going to. Oh, we can't do that. We don't have enough white mana. Oh no. We need chump blockers though. We'll do it, but it's not enough. Yeah. Awkward. We both have been in an awkward mana position here, but he had the upper hand. Oh, I'm going to die with all these things in my hand. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be blocking here, here, two, four. I think that's game. Yeah. Yep, I think it is game. But we'll see. See what happens. Yep. Everybody's got to die here. Just send everybody in. What are you scared of? All right. Easy block. Easy block. Down to three. Yep. Yep. Oh, look at this hand. Yeah, we're screwed. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll scoop because he thinks he lost. <laughs> Man, we've been bottlenecked on mana. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifty, sixteen. Solar blaze off the top. Nah, that won't do it. One, two, three. So we can double helix. Does that do anything? It puts us up to nine. The first helix gets eaten by the selfless savior. The second helix resolves. So we shoot Thalia. No, sorry, we shoot. We shoot the biggest things. We shoot the Thalia first. Then we shoot... Yeah, let's see what he's got. Can't... Will we survive even? So if I take down two threats, let's say I take down the Luminarch Aspirant and the Selfless Savior. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That will not work. If I Zenith Flare something, I'll be at 11, but then they'll have those two threats. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and scoop this one up i can't think of a way i can make this work okay so now we can what do we want to go away sacks the doggo I think I'm still dead. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, it's fine. All right, that was a pretty crappy draw. And that's somebody who drew three Zenith flares. Are we gonna do anything different here? No, I think we just need a better draw. We could really use those pyromancers. One of the few cards not affected. We get pyromancers out. We're in good shape. Man, we were doing all right there for a while, just missing those early land drops. It was a bit much. <sighs> okay. Let's give it a shot. It's awkward. It's really awkward. Like, really awkward. But we'll see what we draw. It shouldn't be this awkward. No one drop helps. Okay. I have no way to cycle that, do I? Right on time, Mr. Inspiring Advantage. Sorry, I'm just debating if I want to. Let's go Flourishing Fox, and then... I hate to do it, but we gotta play the Sandbar. Yep, here we go. So it begins. Dahlia, sure. This time, we got plays. So 
Best card here to draw would most certainly be an untapped land. So we can cycle the fox and just blow down everything he's got. Well, blow me down. Selfless savior. Sure. Danto Vanguard. You got it. We're going to continue to wait. We've at least got some stuff locked down. Yep. Got to be careful. There's a lot of stuff that could pop out here. Like a Thraven Inspector, for instance. Not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Okay. Yep, protect the Thalia. Got it. Pay the life. Okay. Got it. Okay. No attacks. Faster. I maybe shouldn't have played the Forgotten Cave. I was sitting there debating, like, because I think I'm going to go in Probable Alliance for three and then cycle the Fox, but we'll see. Oof. That's a beating, but we'll see. He still can't attack, which is nice. Well, that takes care of that if we ever get to that point. So I guess right now... Okay, so this is... Player pays one. Okay, so we're going to have to hold off on the Probable Alliance. But we are going to cycle this fox. Yeah, we just gotta keep the mana flowing. Pay the life, please. Decided not to. Very good. Get him for two. Pass the turn. So I got Solar Blaze on backup, although it's not going to do anything with the shield out. Sure. So you go for the Zenith Flare. So we're kind of building up to it, man. Otherwise, it's the Improbable Alliance. All depends on what he does here. If he doesn't take the Improbable Alliance, then that's our plan. Ah, I took the Solar Blaze. Very good. Thalia. Sure. See how she does. So, Improbable Alliance not looking as good now. Sure. Okay. So we could Improbable Alliance and Cycle... Shooting the Thalia. And just, oh, we'd only, oh, no, we wouldn't be able, well, yeah. Pay one to cycle, one to target. So one, two, three for Improbable Alliance. Pay one to cycle the secluded step. We'd get a token. We'd be able to shoot the Thalia down. Yeah, I think I like this plan, so let's do it. Okay, Improbable Alliance. Then we can attack as well. Cycle. I'm gonna hold on to the cast out. It may come in handy. Got all a bunch of stuff done. Yeah, it doesn't matter here, because I can't pay for it, so we'll just point it at him. Yep. Okay, so let's make sure this is the correct one. Okay, so this is the one. This is the second one. The second one was dealing him, so we're gonna say decline. Auto pay. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, so I attack for four. He double blocks, and that's the end of it. If he attacks with the elite spell, but I'm just going to take it so I can attack him back. No blocks. Danto Vanguard. Okay. All right, so. I think at this point... See, so I shoot him. I start shooting him. Yeah, let's do it. It's up to four. Uh, so I attack for five. He's not going to pay for life. No attacks. Yeah, I was gonna say this is this is a this is <laughs> I don't feel bad about this. I think it's pretty much over at this point. But then again, yeah, you never know. You never know. Could have kept going. Ooh, All nice. right. Well, let's try squeezing one more since that uh, is it Phoenix player uh, scooped up so quickly. Jengatha. Oh, we're gonna keep it. Yeah. Turn one Fox. Turn two Improbable Alliance, and then just cycle. Keeping. I mean. That for that is a Phoenix player. You know, they scooped so quickly. Although we got a good idea of how that game was gonna go. Well, we have time. We'll squeeze in one more. Perfect. Oh, this is not at all what I thought. We're gonna need this might be well, actually I don't know. No, not my improbable alliance, you fiend! Got me. Which is unfortunate because I really wanted it. Oof, now I just have no idea what's going on. Okay, well. The best thing you can be is predictable, right? So let's be predictable. Oh, he's got a fatal push in hand? Uh... Eh, still, what, what difference does it make? <laughs> well, I guess I could wait till his end of turn to cycle. Oh, no! Oh, cling to dust. Got me. Get him. That's a lot of lonely sandbars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll see what I draw here. Depending on what he's got. Oh, I got it. It's, uh... I'm just getting him for four. It's uh, Niv Mizzet, duh. Yeah, that's all. I'm gonna hold the sensors in case he gets going for like a binding the old gods or something like that. Some four mana removal. So we can just pound him next turn. Yep. But that's only assuming he has a four mana removal, which he does not apparently. What does he have? What do they have? Drown in the lock. Which kills him no matter what. Oh, there you go. Oh, I tapped out a sensor range. I'm so dumb. That's okay. Well, now we got the sensor for anything big. So dumb. I forgot they played that one of Mortality Spears. So I thought we were safe. Never think you're safe. Because you're not safe. Oh, that's, that's a relief. Nothing holding priority, so let's keep it up. We can do anything else in response. One, two, three, four, five. So we can knock him to two. And he can gain three life at instant speed. Can't forget about that.
Man, think of how good that improbable alliance would have been. Uh, sure. Okay, something's got priority here. It's gonna be a no from me, dog. Five, four. Hmm. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Eat it. All right, Nivy Mizzy. What do we got here against old Nivy Mizzy? Oh. What graveyard hate are they playing these days? Niv Mizzy is such a good deck. All right. Let's look at the most recent list. That looks like it's it. So it's probably bringing in Vetoes. Probably bringing in... All sorts of different stuff. But I don't see... Oh, I got Graph Digger. Well, Graph Digger's case doesn't do anything. Uh, do we want to go with a man plan? We definitely want Mystical Dispute. Cage doesn't do anything. Probably brings in Veto, more discard. So I think it's just bring in the Mystical Dispute. Bring in the Veto, I suppose. Fry doesn't do anything. And then what are we taking out here? Probably all oh, the Sweltering Suns, of course. Uh, I guess the Solar Blaze. Why not? Doesn't do anything in stem, so yeah, let's run it back. Do I want the helixes? Is there anything else I can even bring in? I guess I could bring in the man plan. They usually, nah, I think we're okay. Or the shark typhoon plan. Again, I think we're okay. Solar blaze seems really random. You know, maybe it's just better off. Oops, nope, nope, not you. Oh, did I bring in too many? I did. Uh, take out a boon. Keep in Big Tef. Yeah, I mean, Helix was good there because it was good, but opponent's going to be a bit more ready for it, I would say. <laughs> uh, sure. I imagine my opponent kept a Thought Seize heavy hand. So, sounds good to me. Got me! <laughs> uh, let's go the pathway. Ah, oh, we can cycle whatever we want. Let's go there. At this point, we're just gonna start cycling. I'm just gonna cycle, Mister Lonely Sandbar. Uh, I guess we'll play it on white. I imagine this dude's dead in a variety of different ways. Since my opponent now knows I play sensor. Yeah, he did. Got him! Yeah, at this point, all we need to do is just cycle and find flare before my opponent does anything too nutty. What just happened? Did this deck just move? Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go with... Cycle Forgotten Cave. Draw a card. Cycle Secluded Step. Draw a card. Cycle Cast Out. Draw a card. Nice. Super nice. Uh, let's get some more red mana. That's all for me. Yeah, I don't have to do anything anytime soon. I can even just wait until I can censor his counterspell. Oh, snap! <laughs> not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now, I normally don't go this long, but the deck has been on a hot streak, and I got, I got time. I got time. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Ew. 
I'm on the draw, he's mulliganed. Keep the one lander even though it cycles, now nah, we can do better. Hmm. Okay, put the improbable alliance on the bottom since we're nothing but white mana, we can go secluded step, flourishing fox, yeah I guess. It's the farthest away from being cast. Yeah, I probably should have kept that first one. Let's find out. Botanical Sanctum, eh? Oh, it's the uh, the new Stompy list. Simic Stompy, I believe it's called, so. And let's pass. Discipling this boon, end of turn. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Nice. It's exactly what we want to draw. No sarcasm here. It's exactly what we want to draw. Yep. Should have just cycled when he was tapped out. That was silly. Because now he can actually do the fight card at instant speed, but he can't take out both things. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Makes me think he doesn't have it. Do we want to find out? I say yes. I say no. I say yes. I say no. I say yes. Well, if he fights one of them, I could just block with the other one. It'd be a, like 20 for one, but who cares? Unless, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's got the fight card. He's just deciding when's the best time to use it. Go, Team Zenith Lair. What else does that card do? It's like fight or counter a non-creature spell unless they pay... Oh boy, Group's Harbinger, you say? Oh, I wish. Let's see if we can hit an untapped red source to just make this awesome. What does he have that keeps... Oh, it's the Barkhide Troll! Duh! That's what's holding priority. Oh, we can wait a turn. Which I do think would be worth it. So we're going to take four. He's going to draw another threat. No attacks. Well, we'll see what he does here. He could just have, like, the fight card. He could not attack either. Is he going to go for the big pump? That wouldn't be bad either. He's offering me the trade. Let's do it. Okay. What else you got for me? Nothing. Interesting. It's counter unless you pay three. All right. We'll just wait. Yeah. He could just remove the counter to give it hexproof, but at least it gets rid of the counter. We take one less damage. Yep. He's tiny, but that works. Got him. The only possible thing I could cycle into that I would want would be like Flourishing Fox. That works too. No, I wish I'd held it. Oh, duh. Oof. Oops, he says. Yeah, I'm going to try to... I should have done it during upkeep. I'm going to try to cast out here. 
We might have the counter spell. Can't wait to bring in those solar blazes. He's got it. Okay. Now, how many does he have here is the question. Because I am going to also try to Zenith Flare this thing. Do they have another one? If he's smart, this is over, and I think he's smart enough, so I'm going to say it's over. Okay, let's bring in our sweepers. Give me pyromancers. Are okay. Solar blaze. Probably better than sensor, though. Probably better than boom. This doesn't do anything. This is basically green stompy. Graph digger's cage is probably better than boon. Be nice to not have to worry about that crap. Um, do I want to bring in both? It does take a very problematic card out of the mix up, but. Nah, I don't think I need both. Both is a bit excessive. Yeah, Stompy seems rough, but we'll see. We'll see if our sideboard plan comes through, although I don't know. Most of his creatures are bigger than it, so maybe this was a mistake, but we'll see. I've been a play. Uh, sure, seems reasonable. Team Lonely Sandbar, baby. Goose. My old nemesis. <sighs> yeah, I might as well just get this in now, right? Play. I might have to play the other one. I do. There it is. Kind of needed a red source there. I don't think you're blocking. Ah, he's holding up Coco, eh? Let's see what happens. Oh. Let's pass. Let's move down to turn at least. See what he does. Oh. Sure. Got me. Okay. Old Growth Troll. And he's holding up counter spells, it would seem. Sure. That seems reasonable.
Oh, that was dumb. I was thinking I was going to bait him into it, but then I realized I have... No red mana. So I was baiting him with the Improbable Alliance so I could Lightning Helix him. Yeah, this is just bad, but that's okay. Because now, hopefully Hero of Dominaria resolves. <sighs> sure, I got nothing. He's got nothing either. That's nice. Okay. Any creatures in the graveyard? No. No. Yeah, I should have played around the deny last turn. That was dumb. That's okay. Stuff happens. Like, we can just sit here in a holding pattern all day. I don't mind that. Any creatures in the yard yet? Nope. Nope. See what he hits. Interesting. That gives what? Trample? Yep. Zenith Flare is only at, gonna be at four. Possibly six. Here we go. Bring it. Let's see what we draw here. So the old growth troll turns a... Uh... Sacrifice this land, create another 4-4. Four, four. Trying to think if I'm going to. You can just give it trample, but if you get to trample. Oh, you can. You can put it on. Well, actually. Sure. So I'm going to take 5, be at 10. Okay. Yep. Pump sip. Yep. Pumped. Yep. Down to 9. Excuse me. Yep. Yep. Oh, he didn't do it on an untapped land. That's fortunate. Tricky. Does he have another denial? Which I'm kind of hoping for. A negate. Even better. So he's at seven. Let's see what happens. Two, three, one, two, three. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. If he sees it, maybe he won't. If I block here, if he double pumps the Pell Collector, I'm dead. Yep. Or, well, that works too. Alright. Yeah, it happens. It happens. We had to fall from the top. No. <laughs> All right, we are back for the wrap-up. Honestly, that last matchup seemed like the nightmare matchup. Like, wow, that was between scoos, counter spells, and just fat beats. That was pretty much our worst-case scenario. I don't know if Gruul would have been worse or that, because Gruul, at least, I mean, they're a bit, you know, they're beefy and they have haste, but they don't have counter spells. So a lot of our stuff will resolve. Those counter spells did so much for the opponent. Now, I walked into the Improbable Alliance one. That was my bad. I thought I had another red open. We probably could have won that game with the Improbable Alliance. So that's on me. That's on me. Look at your mana, bro. You only had one red. Anyways, still fantastic deck, as you guys saw. Man, this was just killing it. And 4-1 and one ain't nothing to sneeze at, especially running into, like, the worst-case scenario. So if you're in the... Man, if you're in the market, I would try this. This is pretty sweet. I might play more of it, but for now... That is all for me. I will see everybody later.